Welcome back, strangers. Ohio University has so many hauntings and legends that we had to make a second video of all the places and stories that didn't quite make our first video. The ridges are a part of campus that were formerly the Athens Lunatic Asylum, a mental hospital that was opened from 1874 until 1993. The asylum treated children and adults suffering from various mental disabilities. It became a popular place for Civil War veterans to seek treatment for the condition we now know as post-traumatic stress disorder. The initial population of the asylum was 200 patients, but it quickly grew to over 2,000 by the 1900s, more than three times the planned capacity for the asylum. The overcrowding led to a drastic decline in the quality of care patients received. However, the more patients, the more profit. Patients who were able were put to work on the hospital's farm, and the patients that couldn't work or rebelled underwent inhumane and torturous treatments. Patients would be submerged in ice water for extended periods of time. They would have electric shocks administered directly to their temples, and the hospital quickly became known for their lobotomies to treat depressive or psychotic tendencies. Many lobotomy patients ended up dead or left in a catatonic state. Today, the ridges are used as classrooms, offices, and storage for Ohio University and the Kennedy Museum of Art. However, the former mental hospital's past still lingers with haunting reminders of the building's dark history. A stain of Margaret Schilling's body is etched into the concrete floor of the ridges. Margaret Schilling was a patient who vanished from her ward, only to be found several weeks later in the abandoned top floor of the old infectious patient ward that had been closed a year earlier. They found her naked on the floor, with her clothes neatly folded beside her. She had somehow gotten locked inside of the old ward, and her body was so badly decomposed that her bodily fluids permanently stained the concrete floor she died laying on. If you aren't unfortunate enough to see the stain, you may still encounter Margaret Schilling, or one of the many ghosts of former patients and staff wandering the building at night. Many witness darting shadows and people appearing in mirrors behind them. Many parts of the ridges that are used for storage or are abandoned are full of asbestos and lead, making it costly to tear down or fully renovate each part that has fallen into disrepair. Depending on who you ask, there are five or ten haunted cemeteries that form a pentagram around Ohio University. This sinister pentagram is the reason Ohio University is so full of hauntings and supernatural energy. At the center of the pentagram is Wilson Hall, channeling unexplainable forces, making it one of the most haunted dorms in the world. The initial five cemeteries are Zion, Cuckler, Sims, Higgins, and Hanning, with Hunter, Slaughter, Mansfield, Peach Ridge, and Haynes either being part of the circle around the pentagram or appearing as alternate points on the pentagram. Sims Cemetery is the most haunted and forms the top of the pentagram. It is haunted by the former judge and town executioner, John Sims. It is said that you can still see the rope burns on the hanging tree in the cemetery, and occasionally even the ghosts of the executed still hanging. The spirit of Sims is known to yell at innocent visitors to get out. Henning Cemetery has a male spirit in a long robe that likes to make eerie sounds and scream at unsuspecting visitors. Haynes Cemetery is said to be haunted by an old Civil War vet who went crazy and murdered his entire family. West State Street Cemetery has a large angel statue that was erected in remembrance of the many soldiers buried in the cemetery. The statue frequently sheds tears and sometimes appears to move. Another possible reason for the many hauntings at Ohio University is that West Green is built on an Indian burial ground. At night, you can still hear the chanting of Native American spirits, along with the sound of water flowing from an old river that used to flow nearby campus. West Green is also haunted by a headless buffalo named Stroud, who was beheaded by soldiers during the Civil War. Crawford Hall is haunted by a more recent spirit. In 1993, a resident fell from her fourth floor window. After her tragic death, doors began to randomly slam shut and mysteriously open and the lights would flicker on the first floor. Some nights, the silhouette of a girl can be briefly seen wandering the halls. Finally, Cutler Hall has one of the lone lost spirits that haunt the building's bell tower. We would love to go back and spend more time at Ohio University and properly visit the ridges and haunted cemeteries that surround the campus. After having to make a second video, we believe it is safe to say that Ohio University is the most haunted university we have visited so far for the strangest. Thanks strangers for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more strange content every Wednesday. 
Also, check the video description below for additional reading and sources for this video. And until next time, stay strange. <laughs>